Hello everyone, welcome back to FA Channel with Paris. Future is now. We're all about celebrating art, technology, and creativity. As we started this channel and we see the huge progress of software companies that are creating softwares and apps to track face and body to let everyone VTube their content online and enjoy the freedom of in the virtual reality world. To me, having an avatar and express myself and then shared ideas can be like the best thing happen in our career because I, uh, I'm not constantly wanting to show up myself in front of camera. So with the avatar, I feel more expressive. I wanted to create more videos. We always want to try new apps, new uh, softwares to share with you guys. In today's episode, we want to introduce this new app that created by the, one of the biggest music label company in Japan, AVEX. They created this app that can do face, tr face tracking and hand tracking at the same time. Come across with a lot of apps every day, like mo most of the time we see some apps, sometimes it doesn't really work well. And the idea is pretty similar with the ones we're using right now. We're not really talking about in the video, but with this app, we see the potential. I will talk about it why later. We did expect a lot with this app because it is created by one of the biggest music label company, which is very interesting. And also they sell this, they're the company selling any cast maker. Do you remember? I, we had an episode about how to make your own anime in VR. That was a really impressive app in Oculus Quest 2. So this is the same company selling this software. The name of this app is Rebla Broadcast. <laughs> you can go take a look, download it, install as we show you. The truth is it's not perfect yet. Later on, I will go take a test and show you guys how it works. And we'll also show you how to install it. We recorded how we install it, how we try it. The biggest difference with other apps we have tried is this app is, is more like a face detect instead of face tracking. So what I mean here is they have different settings. So the setting have auto setting and then facial expression like happy, sad, angry. So they're detecting your face if you are moving more towards the happy facial expression and then it will just automatically turn into that mode. So the problem here is with the VRM avatar, we usually create it in the VRI studio, the facial expression is quite big. So that's why you will see that later when I just make slightly different facial expression and it become like a huge difference. Like, one second I'm sad and the next second I'm ha like I'm happy. So I can see why when I use the, their default avatar where the facial expression is not as big as my Vroid avatar, then the result is pretty good. So we're thinking what you can do with this app. I'm not sure if that's worth the time right now. If you can use Unity to change your facial expression, make it more subtle, not as big difference as default facial expression, we're thinking that result can be a huge difference. Again, we'll show you guys the details later. Another problem of the this app is, it seems like our computer has pretty good graphic power with a RTX 3070 Ti. It seems like when we're using the app, it's still shut down and the movement is is a bit slow. So we guess why the it's slowed down or shut down is because the app is not fully using the GPU. Definitely not perfect yet. So with all these reason, now let's go take a look. First we'll talk about in the, first we'll show you the installation part and then we'll go take go and then we'll go try. Let's go take a look.
why why <laughs> ow ow wow this is very expressive but why do i okay i can see my face here but i did not stick my tongue out no i did not do that i i did not show i'm angry <laughs> what okay let me try a different setting this is focal distance okay let's zoom but seems like i don't know why so happy okay i can change facial expression surprise not happy plain okay but if i change my expression then my mouth is not open oh well, now the lip sync is based on microphone so when i press auto but if i press like here just normal face doesn't really recognize my voice but if i put auto it does <laughs> i don't know why it's so happy <laughs> okay now let's try this is lip sync try camera what okay so now is recognized from my webcam distance between camera oh that's me going forward and backwards doesn't really change oh this is good hand is as long as showing from the camera i can track hand a little bit but yo 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 okay so maybe let's try with sound sync and then so based based on my facial expression it kind of like just guess what kind of emotion i have yeah probably because it's auto so there are only one two three four five emotions based on my facial expression it will like kind of recognize if i'm happy or but how what kind of person talk with this happy and happy surprise <laughs> half a sec between each other okay see this my hand like it tracking pretty well it's all in this little window and if i switch for example no if it's out of right now i'm like playing face so i will always have playing <laughs> normal face if i'm like i'm happy so i'm happy all the time <laughs> but then okay my mouth is sync with microphone right now but i feel like i'm loud enough okay let me try with camera then it doesn't really recognize my mouth i don't know why ah ooh, see doesn't work <clears throat> let's try not perfect sync applied avatar maybe that's one of the reason and now is not perfect sync applied avatar what <laughs> what happened to my what happened to my shoulder no i become a monster what is going on? <laughs> what? I become so heavy. Whoa, 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 yo. Okay. Okay. Let's put my hands up. Okay. Oh, seems like my. Whoa. My pupil gets smaller. But I didn't do that with my real face. Okay. <laughs> this is, oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try plain face. Okay, let's see. Now I try with camera. How big my mouth have to move to be able to move? No. Mouth is not moving. Maybe auto is better. But my microphone is... Oh, okay. Now it's better. Oh, maybe because, huh? Hmm. Where is 
the sound? Does it re really recognize my voice? What about this one? Oh no! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I was thinking my my voice is loud enough. Oh, not too bad. At least I think the the hand is good. My um my mouth is synced pretty well. It's just my I don't blink. Ah, I do blink, but I blink in a weird way. <laughs> um, okay, and happy. I'm happy. Yeah, hello. Hey. I'm so happy. <laughs> I have to talk about a happy topic with this face. I think normal is not bad. Let's try Auro. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Where's this <laughs> surprise face come from? So maybe it depends on how your v red avatar set your emotion. If your v red avatar have like not surprised facial expression, it's not gonna show here. Maybe. You have a default avatar. Let's see what's the difference. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, I didn't put my hand up. That was awkward. Hey. Hmm. Maybe it's based on this avatar. Uh, this avatar is pretty cute. I mean, feel more natural to change from. But still, like, how how do you all of a sudden get so angry? <laughs> and then all of a sudden so happy. Hmm. Up. Uh, our avatar is not bad. I think it captured exactly what it is. It just okay. If it's normal, this avatar is like when it's normal. I think my avatar pupil looks pretty good. <laughs> it connects with people. <laughs> so when my avatar doesn't blink or uh, do anything, if the the pupil make you feel like it's not it's not alive i i, I didn't close my eyes <laughs> okay now it's good i don't know why all of a sudden the eyes are closed but this avatar seems like with the normal faces looks good this clothes is cute depends on your avatar maybe you can try different avatars for this it's good not bad Okay, so that's how we install and try the app. I had a lot of fun trying it. So while I'm trying this app, I realized one of the character, Jane, there looks very familiar. So I realized that's the same main character I was playing with in any cast VR when I make anime in VR. And then there's another character, this company, I think, try to promote because they try to sell the avatar in the booth. We'll put a link underneath the video. You can go take a look. We are not sure how this is all connected, but seems like the avatar they try to sell, maybe they try to create her as a VTuber because you need to pay for it. But this app come with, the, this app is completely free that you can try the avatar with uh, face tracking and everything so it seems like it's so like it's like a branding strategy I don't know how this app will evolve in the future but once we are always constantly seeking a good software or app that can do face tracking fa uh, and hand tracking perfect sync uh, without iPhone or any phone that it can perfectly capture your emotion and do what we can do now without I, another phone. So that's why we're trying with this new, we're trying their software, but I'm not sure if making this software for this company is the main goal. But if you're interested, you can go take a look at their avatar, explore what, explore this, app because the like i said if they're focusing on face detection then if you can change the facial expression to subtle maybe it can do pretty well but the, still at this point the problem is too heavy once they have a better version or there's other app there 
we'll definitely talk about it. Hopefully something new and great coming up soon. Cool. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.